Variables are like boxes that store things in them, like text or number that can be used in multiple parts of your project. For example, if you have a game with an item that changes the speed of the enemies and players, you could change a speed variable without having to manually change every one of the motion blocks. Click the variables tab and click make a variable to create a new variable. If you were moving and had to pack a bunch of boxes, it would be easier to know what's in them if you labeled your boxes. The same thing is true when labeling your variables. So make sure to give it a name that helps you remember what it's for. If the variable is for all sprites, it will appear as a new block in each of the sprites and stage. But if the variable is for this sprite only, only the sprite will have access to this variable. However, using the sprite only block allows each clone to have their own unique variable so they can behave independently from each other. If you wanna save the variable across multiple accounts to create something like a high score, check the cloud variable option. But I talk about how to get that option in another video in my Scratch playlist. Set variable will set the variable to specific characters, text, or numbers. You'll usually want to set your variables when your project starts. If you want to add or subtract to your variable, use the change by block. For example, change by one when the player earns a point and negative one when a player loses a point. You can check or uncheck the box next to the variable to show it on your stage, but you can also use the show and hide variable blocks to do the same thing with code. If you wanna change how the variable looks, double click on the variable on the stage or right click and select one of the options. If you right click on the slider, you'll notice an option to change the slider range. For example, instead of zero to 100, you can set the range from one to 10. The round variable at the top can be used in a variety of ways in your code. For example, to control the speed of the motion blocks. Variables are great for storing information, but Scratch also has a way to store a list of information in an array by pressing the make a list button. For example, if you wanna create a list of a player's inventory, like variables, you can make a list for this sprite or all sprites, but it doesn't have the cloud option. Use the add thing to block to add items to the list with code. You can use the insert block to insert to a specific position in a way that shifts the other items below where you inserted, or replace an item without shifting the order of the list using the replace item block. But you can also delete specific items in your list using the delete block, like deleting the last item of the list, or even deleting everything in a list. You can use the item block to show the number of an item in our list or the name of a number. If you combine these blocks with some other blocks, like the length block, you could tell the user everything in your list, or use the contains block to see if a player has an item like a key in their inventory. The list block returns everything in the list as a single string of characters. If the list is all characters and numbers without text, it will return the list without any spaces between each item in the list. You can use blocks to show or hide your lists. If your list is showing, you can also manually add items with the plus sign in the corner, remove items with the X on the side, and resize the list using the dashes in the corner. If you right click on the list when it's showing, you can import or export text files to save it for later. Check out my playlist for even more scratch tips or to learn how to teach computer science.